Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Usatine, Associate Editor of the Journal of Family Practice and Column Editor of Photo Rounds. I am a Professor of Family Medicine, Dermatology, and Cutaneous Surgery at the University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio. I am also the Medical Director of the University Skin Clinic. Today we will demonstrate the use of dermoscopy. Dermoscopy is a state-of-the-art method for diagnosing all kinds of skin lesions and skin conditions. A dermatoscope allows you to see into the skin, below the epidermis, and into the dermis. Most dermatoscopes magnify the skin tenfold and provide a polarizing light for seeing below the surface. It is very helpful to attach the dermatoscope to a smartphone or a camera to see a larger image on the screen and to capture the image for review during the patient visit and after a biopsy result is available. The most important use of a dermatoscope is to detect skin cancer early and to identify suspicious lesions that are not skin cancer and don't need a biopsy. By increasing the sensitivity and specificity for skin cancer, fewer skin cancers are missed and fewer unnecessary biopsies are performed. Here we are looking at a seborrheic keratosis on the face using a Dermlite 3 attached to an iPhone. Typical features of solar lentigines and seborrheic keratoses are visible so that no biopsies are needed. Many vascular lesions in older adults are benign cherry angiomas. Sometimes a vascular appearing lesion is suspicious for a skin cancer. Here we are demonstrating the dermoscopy of a cherry angioma. One of the advantages to using a smartphone is the ability to blow up the image before photographing it. This can help you see more detailed morphology. There are a number of dermatoscopes available from a small list of companies. They come in all shapes and sizes. The Dermlite 1 is attached to an iPhone for visualization of another cherry angioma. The newest Dermlite 4 has great optics and a large viewing plate for examination of larger lesions. The viewing plate can be removed for easy cleaning. Dermatoscopes may also be attached to cameras, as in this example of the Heine Delta dermatoscope attached to a digital SLR. Dermatoscopes are especially useful for distinguishing between a benign nevus, such as this one, and a malignant melanoma. Men with thinning hair are very prone to skin cancers of the scalp. Here we are making sure that a pigmented area of the scalp is only a benign solar lentigo and not an early melanoma. Melanomas may present as a brown line in the nail called longitudinal melanonychia. Because the nail is a curved surface, it helps to apply ultrasound gel to the nail before performing dermoscopy. Melanoma of the nail has certain worrisome features that are not seen in this benign example. Here are some examples of melanomas seen through a dermatoscope. This melanoma shows an atypical network with some atypical dots and atypical globules, both at the periphery. In this melanoma, you can see structureless areas, negative network, streaks, and a blue-white veil. This dermoscopic image of a melanoma shows atypical vascular structures such as milky red areas, dotted vessels, and on the periphery there are some atypical dots and globules. In this melanoma, there are regression structures with a blue-white veil. This melanoma on sun-damaged skin shows regression structures with peppering and atypical dots and globules along with some shiny white lines. Here are some examples of basal cell carcinomas seen through a dermatoscope. In this basal cell carcinoma you can see leaf-like structures, brown dots in focus, and shiny white structures. This basal cell carcinoma also has leaf-like areas, brown dots in focus, along with arborizing vessels. 
This is a typical nodular basal cell carcinoma with arborizing vessels and shiny white structures. Another bonus of the dermatoscope is the ability to see the scabies mite below the skin without doing a scraping and using a microscope. The scabies mite in these photos has a darker triangular head and a lighter circular body. It does take some time to learn the patterns of dermoscopy. The dermatoscope is to the skin as the otoscope is to the ear. Once you have seen within the ear using an otoscope, you would not imagine examining an ear without it. Likewise, once you have seen into the skin with a dermatoscope, you won't want to be without it.